Hey guys, welcome back to uh, fucking Mass Effect. All right. So it says here that the first thing I should do is the, t uh, the training platoon. So we should do that first. We'll go check that out. All right, we're gonna bring along our best. It's for him for both the witty commentaries, honestly. All right. I think I said I would maybe remove this. Because we didn't really need it. Oh good, we got the scorpion. This thing's like so much better. Thing is, here's the thing, we don't need both of them. We just need one of them. And I actually really like the hurricane. Not gonna lie. I don't you know what, actually let's bring both because I did just remove the armor the armor that gave me uh uh the armor that gave me more ammo, so maybe maybe now it'll become more useful. Actually, how much ammo does this have now? Uh, as I said, ammo is probably the best thing to get here. All right, let's let's keep it like that. <laughs> Fucking Tron. Oh shit. All right, I'm gonna go for disruptor ammo now. I think because we're trying to max out the damage. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna give our squad this. Increases ammo capacitor headshot damage. We're gonna do headshot damage. And the rest of this is, um, I hate the stunning effect, so we're going to go for more damage. But that's uh, after the whatever. Uh, what does he have? I guess we're going to do overload, because overload is uh, probably one of the most, it's been the most useful thing in every single game, let's be honest. Uh, slam or dark channel. Or maybe this one. Yeah, let's, get, let's give him like more power damage, just because... Why the fuck not? All right. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is, let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving, and that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Oh, good, I have an assault rifle. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. So now we have 60 and 3. I'm not sure how much that is, necessarily. And, oh good, they both keep the same weapon, too. So I get 63. The Praetorian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. I mean, you are a Turian, so... I was gonna say, right now... Silence. Enemies ahead. Quick. We don't want them to call for backup. I mean, they're they're husks. Can they even do that? Alright. I actually forgot to put ammo on. That's for now. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Survived the crash, but then a harvester took out the pod. Did we already have a tempest? Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and eaten by husks. Gunfire, they are near. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. The fuck? How are they dying so easily? 
I guess I have like a shit ton of headshot damage. That's why he's, this is pretty kick ass. What? Javik, what are you doing over there? Fuck. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a harvester. I want them to come over here. I don't, does this thing have a thing to headshot? You got. It. Need my uh, heavy artillery here. Fuck, you know I'm just gonna spray it down. Thank you. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. Well, I can't jump across. To fight another battle. Thanks. I guess I gotta take the ladder like a fucking square. I wonder how much ammo do I have? So I have like 16 for this, 320 for that. So it's actually pretty good. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Oh no, it's uh. Being the son of Adrian Victor is a lot to live up to. <laughs> it's a big military name on Palavan. War's expected to run in the victor's blood. Well, we're not gonna equip that. Life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. I wonder if there's like any snipers or anything I'm missing. Or spare parts for salvage. I know on one of these missions we're supposed to get a fucking sniper. Okay, apparently Shepard does not take ladders the normal way. A good experience medkits? I mean, yeah. What the fuck? I kind of jumped onto that one somehow. Alright, well, I, I don't know how I do anything. Uh, Marauder. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, just unsubscribe from my channel, get it over with. Dude, the, the more shots I have, the more I miss them. Dude, why do I have a scope on this? He actually died in one melee hit. Cause... Cause... I, I don't think I'm hitting anything with this, by the way. By the way, I have to, like, make my, my thing go way down. Eat shit. Oh. Alright, that was pretty fucking cool. Alright, resubscribe to the channel. I think we saved all those men. Over here. Uh, I guess I'll get this. Now you might be asking yourself, why am I combat rolling like a dipshit? But you know, those are questions for you to ask yourself. Cause I think it looks badass as fuck. If you're like, I want that ammo, I'm not gonna pick it up the normal way. I can do a combat roll. Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. <laughs> Fucking the. the Alright, we're, we're, we're rolling off of everything now. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? Uh -oh. The commander leave this down. <laughs> when we find him, we'll ask. How, how will we live with this baseless accusation? Okay. Right. All, all I want to do is melee things. Oh, I, I couldn't combat roll down that. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. Yeah. What is that? The harvester. 
What the hell is that even? Well, whatever. You know, it's it's amusing that they're so useful in this. Okay. That one Let's would pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. To hold the Krogan back seems unproductive. All available forces should be mobilized against the Reapers. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. So I was gonna say, uh, like, the teammates are kind of OP right now. And I know that. I know, but like, here's the thing. They've been useless in Mass Effect 2. It's actually been kind of refreshing that they're actually extremely useful in this game. Uh... Like in, in number one, they were they were pretty useful. They were they were pretty balanced. In number one, because I mean, combat well, they would still go down, but I wanted to bring them up because uh, they had several abilities which were really nice, uh, and because biotics and stuff worked against uh, things like that. So there right, we go, extended barrel. I, I know that's gonna fuck up the animation somehow. All right, this looks like a giant it. arena. I can't see anything. That's a brute. Oh, it looks like they're dead. So, I mean, they're no more overpowered than I am as the player, you know. I'm sure it makes it shitty for some people who are like, you know, want the chunk. What the fuck is he doing? Well, he just got up immediately. We're pretty good at suppressing them. Oh, fuck. He didn't get up. Reaper Schmeepers. Fuck. Okay, that, that is maybe my fault, but still. Yeah, my headshots are getting really good. Which means that the the Black Widow actually may not be necessary. Unless I like, want to one-shot a fucking Harvester. I don't know, man. I feel like I have to look everywhere. Ah, oh, I didn't shoot the head. What the hell? What is shooting me? Okay, it just almost killed me. Harvester. I'm surprised I actually la like, survived a uh, harvester hit like that. You know, just casually. Uh, Reaper Blackstar. Oh. Over here. Well, we'll just, we'll just keep that with us. <laughs> Try to look around if there's anything good. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. 
Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? What's wrong with you? Inspire them. Threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who walks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? If I had to choose between our alliance and lying to save my people, I'd choose Earth every time. Even if it costs you the Turian fleet? I see your point. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now... I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You infected them with a disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? No. Keeping modalities similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait! Yes! The Shroud! Constant global dispersion of air particles, built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. If you're going to infect an entire population, that's the way to do it. Unless you're part of the population. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. 
can use it as transmission vector. Then you shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle leave out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. See, my face is a nice glow of red coming in. Very nicely. Ah, look at that. I'm only halfway red, too. Holy shit. Do you need to fight at my side or get crushed under my heel? I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories, at which you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive uh, without... we've done all this. If the Krogan help us on Palavan... That's all. Of course, Commander. Uh... I wonder how war assets are going. There we go. We're <laughs> well past the minimum now. Uh... It's fine. Like I said, we're still doing everything. I just... I was lazy. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Ah, uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morton. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. All right. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Commander, whatever you did on Tuchanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Commander? 
Wow. What a fuck. Alright, well, let's just keep, keep talking to people. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. <laughs> so that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. Commander? I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. Oh, wow. Hello, Shepard. I want to get out. All right. Uh, even even the AI is sassy. So, anyways, uh, the bomb mission is actually timed. Uh, if you don't do it, it will fail extremely badly, um, which is important to know. Um, well, like you have like I think like three missions to do it, at least as far as uh, that's as far as I read. Apparently, the, the the item wasn't there. There is new information on the private messages terminal. You don't say. Where the fuck did Lear go? I actually like the fact they actually roam around the ship now. Then I'm like, where's Liara? And then she's down there fucking James or something. And then I'll just walk in and it'll be really awkward. Oh well. What? Alright, we seem to be missing a lot of people. Maybe they're all playing poker. I can get in on that shit. Oh wait, Morton's here. No. Shepard. Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Borden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. He started to talk and then press space bar on him. Whoops. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, Commander. Even if it was to serve your own ambitions. Krogan have always put their ambitions first. I would think you'd respect that. Perhaps. But how well has that arrogance worked for us? I brought you all the way here, and I still don't know your real name. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. I actually never talked to her. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. So wait, they die without food from seven days? That doesn't sound like Krogan at all. Aren't, aren't they, uh more resilient than that because humans can last for without food for much longer than that the fuck that's a brutal initiation but an illuminating one it really isn't you learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark people fast for like much longer than that all the time how is this brutal at all how did you make it out alive i started digging the wrong way i was in complete darkness nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me what happened I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Okay, maybe, maybe the digging part is brutal, but the rest of this fucking nut. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us, though not all the other clans see it that way. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. 
It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Solarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Still don't know we're there. What the fuck? I have no idea who that is. I thought it was someone. Oh, I was trainer actually. Stop beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Ashley didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here, right now. We have a war to win. So clear your head and focus. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. It will not be mentioned again. Commander? Hello, Commander. Commander? Where the fuck are my friends? Fuck. This is important to me. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. Yeah. 
So just this and that, huh? Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Not right now. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Alright. Uh, I guess just the protein and that's it. Geth Pyros. There's something about Geth Pyros, but uh, the rest of my mind dropped it out. Protheans are always an enigma. A mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian... All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let the wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts. I am with my own thoughts. I am with my own thoughts. Alright, let's go back up to the main deck. Because this is what we have to do every time. So you have to go everywhere but deck 5. Alright, deck 5 is a spooky deck, just saying. Anything else here? Alright guys, peace out.